Hello. It's very, very cold out. I have to do a quick introduction because the point of the meditation may occur very soon. Anyway, it's uh, yeah, it's about sunset. And uh, we're here at uh, Sage's uh, Seat. I'll see if uh, this will... You know, maybe it's wiser to head towards the sunset for you all. Well, maybe I'll do this. We'll see. I might be kind of near the sunset. very cold out. I just came in from outside. Uh, just came outside from inside. I had been outside having just gone inside to finally warm up. Anyway, I got fully warm and I just came outside. And so what I'm going to do is uh, just sit in a meditative place, in a meditative frame of mind, uh, to observe, to listen to the body. Normally what we have is, uh, you know, intention leading the chi, uh, which causes the action, the shape, the movement, the, the, the effect. But I do know that if I sit in the cold, my body will begin to shiver and shake. But that happens without any intention. A lot of things happen by involuntary means like the diaphragm moving and the kidneys pumping and these sorts of things. But this is something that happens um, with uh, a part of the body which I ordinarily think that I control. You know, where my limbs go and, you know, uh, how they move. In other words, I can kind of duplicate, uh, you know, shivering. <clears throat> and so... If I pay attention to that as that happens, which is probably going to start very soon, it's very, very cold out. I just heard the snows coming. Then I have uh, maybe a little bit of insight into um, an involuntary state or uh, an effect without an intention. And so my practice here is just to pay attention to that, to come into a state of observing. Um, that process, that shift, that change. So now I'm just kind of shifting into an observing, listening, attentive mode, what I'd call a meditative space or state, demeanor, attitude, position. see Kate over there walking around the horse barn. Uh, so special guest meditator there. So this is my unshivering self, about to shiver, I'm sure. I'm trying to notice, you know, what these muscles and vessels, what this connective tissue feels like. Without my intention. And then again, when I shiver without my intention, but with a change in their state, their effect, their motion, their action. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the engine started from Kate's truck. <laughs> I think the shiver started. Similar ignition pattern. So I'm not trying to um, adjust for it <coughs> or quell it or 
emphasize it. I'm just trying to notice, to observe this new change without my intention having been a part of the cat catalyst the, of the, uh, the, um, the cause. So I'm trying not to be distracted by the effect, which isn't all that notable. I mean, I've shivered before. People shiver. It's, I can feel it in the lower ribs. <laughs> Try and notice that when the shivering stops, because of course it'll return. Let's so see if I can feel in the uh, in the wave and the, the crest in the trough. The, having uh, more opportunities to notice that same thing. I'm remembering I did another. I did a walking around a tree circumambulation at a highway rest stop in Greenwich, Connecticut some months ago in the middle of the night. And uh, I think that was another coping with meditation. Let's see if I can let you see a little bit more of the sunset there. I don't know if it'll come out, but thank you.